week two. Hello everybody and welcome to Lanzarote. Day one. <laughs> Who that would do, you know what? That would do. What on earth is going on? It's four in the morning. Give me a break. I apologize for the state of us right now. I mean, I don't mean that by the way we look. I mean, by the way we're acting. It is currently 5 a.m. Okay, 5... 5.37. <laughs> 5.37 in the morning. Um, everybody's staring at us because we're vlogging in a massive public space right now in the middle of an airport. We've just been through, what do you call it? Security. Security somehow. and everything, which I was really nervous about, um, but it was fine, wasn't it? Sorry. It was all good. Um, so we're the other side now. All we've got to do is wait for our gate number, wait for our plane. But you guessed it, we are hungry. So the first thing we're going to do is go and get food. I feel so much more relaxed now with this side, and now I'm excited. You're not excited. even talking about what we're doing, have you? What? Oh, yeah, you have. So. What do you mean? I thought you'd forgotten to tell them what we was actually doing and where we actually are. Oh my god, right, we're at Gatwick Airport <laughs> in the North Terminal and we're about to get on a plane to go to Lanzarote. It's our first holiday together, which is very exciting and it's both of our first holidays since You're this whole pa panorama situation. We're going for five days. If you didn't know about this and you've just tuned into this video, make sure you watch um, my last video, which was basically telling you all about our itinerary and stuff. And if you can't bother to do that, then just carry on watching the vlogs oh, because you'll soon work out what we're doing. We're not stopping. We literally don't stop for this whole trip. <laughs> but we yeah, we're going to take us with you on this whole journey. But first, we're going to go to Weatherspoons and get breakfast because it's 5am. We have not slept and we're hungry. And you're wearing cycling shorts at minus two. Yes, but I will be... I might be the stupid one this end but I'm the smart one when we get to the other side. You're the one in jeans. There's never a good time during a flight to be wearing jeans, know, do we all agree? But, but are you excited now? I'm very excited. I've been excited for weeks. It feels real now. I've not, no, it it's not felt real for, no? No. It feels real for me. It's not felt real for me this really entire know. time. I just think I'm gonna be sitting here for the next like three or four hours. We well, are. But no, they're not actually doing anything after that. There's lots to come. Lots of things booked, lots of things planned, but also lots of relaxing time. Also, apologies for my voice. This is what happens at five in the morning when you've done a whole weekend full of shifts. <laughs> right, let's go and get some food. Let's stop talking. Okay, let's go get food. <laughs> He's just modelling our um, new matching suitcases for you. He's very happy with them. <laughs> Shopping. We've got our snacks for the plane and now we're heading to our gate which is 103. We're getting on the plane, we're gonna start boarding. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> you can't tell he's smiling at that box. <laughs> My ear is still popped. I can't hear a thing. Can't even hear myself speak. We have gone through um, the other side of the airport. We're now in, what is it, how do you say it? Uh, baggage uh, reclaim. RSF, no, oh. the airport name. Baggage reclaim. Uh, the, air, the Lanzarote Airport, that's where we are. Arrecife, yeah, something like that. We're there. He has somehow managed to split the bag in half. And he literally had the whole thing at his feet the whole time and that was you it. You do admit though, it wasn't my fault because I didn't do anything. What do you mean? It was by your feet the whole time and nobody else touched I it. I the whole time. You know, we did sleep on the plane very well actually. Um, the landing, this end, is beautiful. It literally just kind of goes right off the sea into the beach. It's quite scary actually. Um, but yeah, our next job is to find a taxi randomly outside and hope that this person can get us to our hotel. Hopefully this taxi thing is as easy as people say it is. Yeah, this is, a, this is the one thing we haven't planned. Yeah, so fingers crossed. Oh, also, we've only just shown our first thing, first and only thing to do with COVID. It's and it was so this end. Easy. The other end, we didn't do anything. It was like COVID didn't exist at the other side. The only COVID thing we've done is literally up there. And it was show the barcode, wasn't it? And that was you it. You need to get your barcode QR. They're like, yeah, okay, sweet. That was literally it. So, 
I mean, it's a little bit worrying, but it was really it's easy. It's easy. They don't want to make it difficult, but we're going to go... We're gonna go find somebody that can take us to our hotel. Hopefully it's as pretty as the pictures say. Ready? Ready. We're here. Made it. Easy. My ear is still pop, so I'm sorry if I'm shouting, but I actually can't hear myself through this ear. So she can't hear me from this I feel side. like I'm underwater. It's really weird. But yeah, taxi was so easy to get. They're literally just outside the airport. Yep. Um, what was it, about a 15 minute drive I think? We're in Costa de Guise area. Yeah. So it's about a 15 minute drive. Obviously anywhere in Lanzarote doesn't really take you very long. No, it's not massive. Um, and it cost us 21... 21.45. 21.45 euros. We looked up like transfers to rearrange and they were like 20 quid for a coach with like multiple people. It's so good. So it was really good. Absolute result. And we're here outside of our hotel. And it looks so pretty. Um, we thought we'd just take a minute to sit and chill before we go and try and check ourselves in. I don't think we can check in till either two or three o'clock. So it might be that we've got some waiting to do. Um, well, we're here, we're early, so we can enjoy it. What I've seen so far of Lanzarote is gorgeous. I don't know if you agree. Yeah, it's correct. It's like the volcano just up there. That's, that's yeah, cool. there's these massive mountains everywhere. We're actually going to the volcanoes on Thursday, um, which is exciting. So you got to learn how to drive around We've got lots planned. Oh, yeah, I forget you've already told them all this, didn't you? Yeah. yeah as if they've watched that video. Of course they have. I'd watch it. <laughs> the whole airport scenario, even from our end, was easy. It was so one, easy. There's one difference, is that you literally go to a couple of people sitting on a table mm -hmm. just before you get to back, the back, like picking up your bags. Mm. They scan a QR code and they went, sweep. Yeah. They want you here, so it's not like a... It was so easy to do, and I was so worried about it, wasn't I? Yeah, no, it was. So if, you've, if anyone's got worries, it's probably, like, it's it was probably. all good. Everyone on our plane, like, sat around us. Was We were sat with the best people. No one had their chair reclined. No one was kicking me in the back of the chair. No one Nobody, um... We slept. Yeah, everyone was practically asleep. But what I noticed as well, normally when the plane stops and that seatbelt sign goes off, everyone gets up. Yeah. Nobody moved, did they? It was bliss. No one clapped, I was though. like, "Are you guys British? Are What's you it? sure?" <laughs> no one clapped. Oh my god! If you clap the plane, did, did you not? Did you not see when it landed? When I looked at you and started <laughs> pretending did to clap. Did you? Like, I was too busy trying to unpop my ear. Too busy just ignoring me. If you'd have clapped, I think that'd have been a game changer for this holiday. If I'm honest. I think we just broken up on the spot. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot to tell them as well. I got checked the other end. That was the only complication. First. At our end, I got. Um, what do you search? call it? I got search, I got bag search, everything. This guy gets in completely fine. Because I look so innocent and lovely, I'm just so guilty. <laughs> but yeah, I got search in the little machine thing where you have to stand like you've just murdered somebody. But it's been good so far, I'm hasn't very it? happy. Feeling very lucky to be here. Um, I think it's time to go into our hotel. Yeah, it is a Tui hotel, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the Tui ones. Yeah. We um, just picked it as it was the cheapest one, it was great. Yeah. We're living, we're absolutely living. <laughs> Cheap skates. Brought us out a little bit there. Our hotel is called El Trebol Apartments. There's flies everywhere. It's the first thing I've noticed about Lanzarote. Um, it's a Tui hotel. And we're going to go inside and check it out. Thank you, Tui, for sending us on this holiday. I Thank wish. you, Tui, for sending us on this holiday. I wish. You wish. All right, should we go inside? Yes. Let's go. We were allowed to check in early. Very early. It was nice and easy. Well, that's a lie. Actually, we've switched rooms. Already. Already. The first room we got given wasn't cleaned. I think it was clean, but the, you know when people leave their towels and stuff in the shower and that, they were still there and the beds hadn't been made and I was like, um, So we went and said, obviously, well, we know we're early. Um, is it due to be cleaned or whatever? And he was like, no, it's supposed to be clean. And he was not happy, was he? No, it wasn't. I think we got someone in trouble. Anyway, he switched us to a different room and we're obsessed with it. It's so much better. The layout's so much better. The view's so much better. Balcony's about twice the size. Yeah, balcony's massive and it's nice and clean. So we're happy. Yeah. It's very, hot. very happy. It is so hot. I don't know if it's just because we've been cycling our bags all around the hotel and the ironing board and yeah and we picked up an ironing board because we've got some stuff to iron so we're trying to lug two suitcases an iron and an ironing board and our two bags with yeah. us pretty much the whole way around the the center 
just to get to our first room and then we had to do it again for the second room. All over around. But I thought, seeing as we're in the room, and we like the room, we're gonna give you a little room tour. Okay, here we go. Room tours are commencing. So, this is the door. Um, and as you come in, you've got a little table around here. This is obviously the living room. It's very, very simple. And you've got a little mini kitchen that we won't use. This is our trusty ironing board that Ben logged around the whole park. Ignore all of our crap. And then, yeah, this is the living space, I guess. I'm gonna show you the view in a minute because it's cute. And then this is our bathroom. Pretty simple. Hopefully we're gonna test the shower and it's gonna be decent. This is us, hello. I actually look like crap right now. I still look crap. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's simple. pretty simple, but it's nice. And then spin them around. This is our little bedroom. We've got two single beds, so one of us is gonna end up falling down the gap. It's probably not gonna be me. We had no arguments, we asked single beds. <laughs> no, we didn't. Um, there's lots of like storage space, which is, Good. So we're going to start unpacking all of our stuff in a minute. We've got a safe to keep all the safe things in. And what else? There's free Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, go on, open the door and you can show everybody the view. And then, my goodness, it's bright. It should be. Here we go. This is the view from our balcony. First of all, this is our balcony. It's very big. It's like double the size of the last one. And this is where we are. Oh, they're doing a dance. So they've got a little kiddies pool here. And then they've got two bigger pools there. But it's obviously freezing because nobody's in it. And this is the entertainment team doing what they do best. Giving a little shimmy shimmy. Happy with the room? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, well, I mean, we're not going to spend a lot of time in it, really. No, not really. But from what we've seen of the actual hotel, like the park and everything, it's really good. Um, we just need to do a bit more exploring, really. Yeah. So, I'm really entertained by these guys dancing. We're going to learn this before we go. Yeah, absolutely not. No, you have to. Everywhere you go, you have to learn the entertainment dance. Don't you? That was quite a, a short room tour, but it is pretty simple. But it's cute. Later. It's yeah. Cool. But yeah, we're going to go and unpack all of our stuff, get changed, well, shower and get changed, and then we're going to go on a little explore. And go get some sun. Yes, you want some sun already? Oh, okay. Ready for day one in Lanzarote. So ready. It is very high, I need to get this jumper. Right, we'll catch up with you in a little while. Okay, so it's now about two o'clock. We're all showered, ready and dressed. Ben's just got out of the shower. And we're gonna go and get some food because lunch stops at three. Um, so we're gonna go down there and get some dinner. But we are all um, settled in. We've packed, we're, <laughs> did you just wait? We're all unpacked and everything, so we are gonna go down for some lunch now. We're not gonna take you with us, um, but we will take you with us on another day. But for now, we just wanna kind of get settled, get used to our environment um, and the hotel. And then we will probably catch up with you a little bit later on. Um, we've come back and had a chill, probably had a well-deserved nap because, nah. <laughs> because we're very, very tired. But for now, we're gonna go get some lunch um, we'll let you know what it's like and we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hello everybody, so it's a lot, lot later now. Um, me and Ben went for a little wander um, around, kind of around the hotel, but not too much. We walked down to the beach, um, went across, found some shops and some restaurants and stuff. Um, so now we're a little bit wiser as to what's around. We're gonna take you with us tomorrow so you can actually see um, what's in the area. There's no point taking you with us today because we didn't have a clue ourselves. So at least tomorrow we'll be able to show you everything. We've just had the longest nap ever. How long was our nap? Uh, about two hours maybe. <laughs> A uh, two-hour oh, nap. It was well worth it, though. We've been very, very refreshed um, and ready to go for the evening. Um, we're going to go down for dinner soon. We're not going to take you with us once again, just because I don't know how I feel about taking the camera with me whilst people are eating. I will take you down there later on in the week just to show you kind of what's around. Sorry we haven't been able to show you too much today. Um, 
we've just been getting used to it ourselves so it would have been pointless taking you around with us when we had no idea what we were talking about so hopefully tomorrow's vlog will be filled with lots and lots of content we're going to take you around everywhere with us show you lots and lots of things and then we've got lots more planned for the rest of the week but yeah for now we're going to go for dinner are you ready Hungry. can we just appreciate the outfit please come and show them your outfit come here He's got all dressed up for our first night. I'm in just like a, a play suit. It's kind of cute, but he's bought a new white shirt that I had to iron for him. Oh. Anyway. Um, and then he's got some blue shorts. Let me turn around and I'll show you in the mirror what we look like. We made quite an effort for our first night, I think. So I guess the fourth night will be like that. Yeah, we probably can't be bothered, but yeah, this is the attire. I actually look like a bit of a chunk in this. Oh, shut up. I feel it. I feel the chunky vibes. But anyway, that is what we look like. We're very much ready for dinner. We'll catch up with you after. We've had a few drinks. We won't be too drunk, I promise. Can't speak for this one. I'm four, I'm four drinks in today. Well, yeah, your no, no, glasses no, no, no. were like this big and the guy can't even pour a pint. I don't work in a bar. So? You should know how to pour a pint and you do. So that's good. That's anyway, we're going to go and get some food and we'll catch up with you later. Bye bye. <sighs> Right, so we've just got back in from having dinner and a few drinks. Somebody said entertainment was non-existent. Well, there was a lady singing a little bit of Amy Winehouse, so I don't know who said that, but they didn't know what they were talking about. Um, she was good, but we got peckish. So we went to the shops and got snacks. We also found a completely separate entrance to our hotel. And there's like, right outside, there's like loads of shops and stuff. So we went and explored all of that which we'll show you tomorrow. We found the, um, like, they call it the piano bar. That's where the lady was singing. We didn't find that earlier, so that's where they hold all the entertainment. We figured out loads today. Also, I broke my shoe. <laughs> I didn't break it, but it, it broke. I'm just explaining to them that I broke my shoe. Ben's having a dance. Here we are. This happened. It was in there. Now it's not. I've fixed it. And um, I've been hobbling around for the last half an hour. Are you going to fix it? Yeah, of course. Good night? First night, good night? Yeah. Yeah, it's been good. That is the end of night number one. Travel day done. Travel day and night number one complete. Tick. Good day? Long day. Long day. Considering we was up at, well, I, we, I think overall we slept, what, an hour this morning? Slept yeah. Nine, then slept here. Busy, we're gonna have a nice lay in tomorrow, we think, yeah. and we're gonna have a pool day, a little bit of a pool day, a little bit more of an explore so we can show you guys what's around the area. Because I know a few of you are looking at coming on holiday, and some of, some people have actually messaged me saying that they're coming to this area right. like in the next couple of days, yeah. So hopefully, um, I don't know how quickly these vlogs are gonna go out, but we can show you after a bit some of what we've seen, though, it's like it's just so easy. yeah, and it's so quiet. That's one thing we've noticed is it's so quiet. I don't know if it's because like, it's a Monday, but it is gorgeous but you can go to places that it's nice and busy i'm off camera um and, <laughs> and then you can go to places where it's like really quiet. like for up here we are so it's so quiet like we're literally looking over the, the bar there yeah oh my god let me show you the view of the pool from our window in that in the dark it's so pretty thank you, you very much so Ah. ah, the camera really doesn't do it justice, but you, you can see all the way up. So yeah, that fun. is the back of that's the restaurant and everything. And then to the left of that was where we was watching the ladies sing that they call the piano bar. It all goes round all over. There's yeah, and then there, like pool there, pool there's there. just pools everywhere. It is beautiful. We're very very happy with our hotel room. As first nights on holiday go, we're happy. It's been really really good. Um, but for now, we're going to love you and leave you. This has been Lanzarote Travel Day and day one. We're gonna go and have some snacks and get ourselves to bed and have a lay in. We're coming here to say goodbye because the lighting's shocking. Whoa, it's not so great in here either. Thank you very much for watching our Lanzarote Travel Day and day one. Um, make sure you stay tuned for all of the vlogs. Um, we're here for five days, so there should be four or five vlogs. We'll see. I doubt you're gonna have one on the last day. No, it's just traveling, isn't it? Four vlogs, Four vlogs, including this one. Save yourself some more. <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned for those. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Well, next week or in a couple of days. I haven't decided what I'm going to upload this yet. <laughs> but we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.